Hi, this is Tom, and thank you for joining. Please consider subscribing. This week, we'll have our second run of our Axial SCX-10 2 Rob Builders Kit. But first, we're going to throw in another performance modification. As you may recall, last week, we performed a modification to lower the ride height. Recall we modified the alpha angle to lean the shocks towards the middle of the vehicle, uh, as we see in this picture here from last week. This week, we continue lowering the ride height by configuring the new Ya yeah Racing Desert Lizard shocks into a droop configuration. One issue I created during this week's work is, uh, as you may note in the video, I forgot to refill the oil in the shocks when I removed the springs to make it a droop configuration. So uh, I'll be putting the oil back in for next week. Uh, also, during some of this video, sorry for the shaky video. I went freehand. I don't like doing that. But I'm working on some solution to that. So sit back, relax, and uh, I hope you enjoy this week. And now we'll go ahead and replace <clears throat> the front kit shocks with the <clears throat> Desert Lizards in a droop configuration. Here we go. All right, there is <clears throat> both rears complete. And on the front, we've completed the passenger side. And now I'll go ahead and do the driver's side and we'll give it a measure and a flex. Here is the stance after placing all four Desert Lizards in droop configuration. Now, it definitely is lower in the front than the back and that has nothing to do, I believe, with the shocks, but it actually has everything to do, I believe, with the geometry of the suspension when one puts on the links for the 12 inch wheelbase. There's more binding than when I had the 12.3 inch. There's just more binding there, and I'm not sure how to fix that. But so, this is a little strange stance. The back is higher than the front, but it is definitely lower. So after the modification, the front part of the slider here is now 3 and 1 16 inch off the ground, rather than 3 and 11 16 And this back here is uh, 3 and a half inches up. So anyway, that's where we stand on reducing the overall ride height. Here we see the flex of the rear wheel after the modification to all four new shocks. And what are we roughly seeing here? Whoop. Come on. So I would say about, uh, what are we thinking, three and quarter inches now. Previously, before the modification, it was uh, two and a half. So it does significantly flex more. Now, as I understand, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to perform better, but uh, it is flexing more. Here is the flex on the front. Uh, I can't find something to hold it up. But I would say that's really close to three inches, I think. And, uh, well, maybe a, little, maybe a little less than three inches. Well, no, I think it's about three. And previously it was two and a half inches. So the front is flexing more as well. All other three wheels are firmly planted. So, uh, yeah, I'm riding lower, I'm flexing more. Let's give this a try, see how it operates. Little 
body rubbing, as you can see, and, or as you can hear, and the body looks a little weird on the back. I'm going to have to fix that. It looks uh, a little crooked and off-kiltered. Sure seems to climb a lot better. Second run, part two. It just goes up and over these rocks so easily. I think this thing climbs way better than the TRX-4. Run number two, take three. So it's uh, it's a way better crawler than my TXR4. Soon I would like to get some new wheels and tires, place on here, put these TRX4 wheels and tires back on, and have a little uh, a little shoot off. We're complete for this week. Thank you so much for joining. Stay safe, be well, and come back again next week for our next video on Bryn Mawr RC. Thanks, bye.